Thanks for coming out. This is going to be a great weekend. I am at Dragon Boat Festival 2006. <laughs> This is probably my fifth year. We've been coming for three years. I've been here for five years. The festival started out really small and it has dramatically increased. There's been ample coverage and it's such a fascinating activity that it just whet my appetite the first time I heard about it. Well, it's one of my favorite Asian festivals. I think there's a couple hundred thousand people that end up coming and attending this every year now as it's getting a little bit bigger as time goes on. It's a very diverse uh, population of people that come out to the Dragon Boat. It's wonderful that Colorado Dragon Boat Festival put out this show, this festival every year like this. Give us a chance, uh, both sides of the community, the Asian as well as American uh, uh, community have a chance to come together, understand each other, what we have and what Asian uh, culture is about and uh, how we can share this culture with, uh, with our host country. The Dragon Ball Festival is a, is a high quality family activity. Uh, you can spend at least three hours in the festival and not get bored. People must have a spirit of uh, participation, enjoy new things and you can experience new food, new people. It looks like it's just going to get better. For people that have never been to the Colorado Dragon Boat Festival, I would tell them that this is a place you'll find something for everybody. There are three main areas to the Colorado Dragon Boat Festival, and that's an Asian marketplace, and the Asian performing arts stage, as well as the ancient sport of dragon boat racing. The boat races are what a draw, and with it being no charge, having um, the Asian community provide tra tra transportation for the families just makes it so much easier. That will just bring more and more people into, into, the, into the festival. Not only that, we have an area, a free area for kids called Dragonland. We have an educational area called Gateway to Asia where you can get close, up close and personal to it could be uh, anything from fruit and vegetable carving to hitting a taiko drum to trimming a Japanese bonsai tree. So there's something here for everybody. It's an incredibly exhilarating experience. It's a lot of fun and it brings a lot of people together away from the offices and it just creates a nice weekend that's kind of a family atmosphere and allows people to get out and network and kind of have a good time. In the last six years we have a lot of sponsors uh, that uh, supported the festival. Actually about half of the expense came from uh, sponsor dollars which is very, we are very, very grateful. I think it's an incredibly powerful, an incredibly positive uh, experience uh, for the community. It's created an incredibly amount, a new amount of awareness for the Asian culture and the Asian community that's here in Colorado. You need to come to the Dragon Boat Festival because it has a lot of history, a lot of culture, a lot of fun activities for the whole family. It doesn't cost anything. Dragon Festival is good for anybody. Because you can, if you come to the events, you can see a lot of different cultures. Dragon what keeps me coming back is that it's a way to express the pan-Asian culture. It's a way to bring a lot of different cultures together. I really enjoy uh, coming to the Dragon Boat Festival. Festivals like this that have, have that kind of uh, cultural bent on it or difference really add to, uh, to Denver. It's a great place for a lot of people. Beautiful day in Colorado, and if you've never been, you have to come because you've never seen anything like it.
That's the waters on Sloan's Lake. They say prosperity.